Hi all, it's Terhi here with another scrapbook layout and a process video made for a hip kick club. Uh, I'm playing with July kits and I found this amazing big bubble wrap from a package I received and I can't help but play with it. I'm spreading distress this ink we had in a color kit and I'm just spreading it against the uh, plastic then stamping it to the background. It creates uh, the most wonderful wonderful pattern where all the details are showing. As I'm using complementary colors, red and green, I thought this black ink through a stencil uh, would create a nice contrast to this page. Uh, I don't know where I got that stencil, it's quite old, but it's nice. After I'm done with inking, I'm drawing some random circles with a pencil, and then I'm starting to cut papers for my paper layers. Uh, there are no rules about um, what kind of scraps I'm using or, or anything, I'm just cutting first some papers, then I'm um, I, I keep them on my hand and then layer and layer and layer and layer until I'm finished with the design. Uh, there are no rules, there are no uh, any specific tips about this or tricks how I do it. It's just this is the most favorite part of the designing where I just layer and layer and layer keep going like forever. I'm using stapler to uh, attach them, so it's easier to uh, use double-sided tape behind the paper cluster. Now as the paper, paper cluster I did is a bit bigger than I thought it would be, I'm continuing that uh, stencil pattern with black ink, just to make sure it uh, little peaks behind the layers and then I'm going to attach the paper cluster before adding embellishments and title and everything else. I'm also using black marker with the same stencil to uh, create more details to this layout. This is very simple and cheap trick to create details so I really recommend to you to try it. It's very easy and nice. Once I'm happy with my triangular uh, pattern, I'm adding some sewing thread to create more texture and then I'm gluing this um, paper cluster to where I want to have it. Um, this part is quite tricky. I use double-sided tape, but as there is some thread, I also want to use some glue to make sure it really sticks. Uh, then with the smaller smaller pieces, I'm using 3D foam to make sure um, it creates as much dimension that I want to have. I'm using Else Studio Ephemera as my title, title and um, adding more sewing thread to make sure there's texture enough for my eye. Uh, People, some people don't like it, but I want to have lots of details and lots of textures on my layouts. Uh, I'm also using Else Studio Wood pieces and I'm coloring them up with this uh, dapper, dapper, dapper paint we had in our color kit, July color kit. And then I'm gluing them down to the places I want to have them. This color is quite bright, <laughs> which was a bit scary for me, but it, it really works well. I, I really enjoy to use it. Once I'm happy with my gluing with all those uh, embellishments, I'm adding some more with these enamel dots. I'm thinking of uh, should I use the hard one or these circles, but I'm I'm sticking with the easy choice and using the circles. Also, um, 
making fine lines around them, uh, kind of continuing the black line I did with the background. Uh, I'm finishing the whole piece with uh, making a mix of this paint and water and then flicking some drops here and there. Uh, I always cover the picture because it otherwise it would be <laughs> quite messy and I don't want to see any paint on my picture. Uh, at least not with this layout. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening, listening my quite weird English. It was nice to have you here and please leave some feedback for my YouTube channel. And remember to visit in Hipkit Club website. Bye!